It is not the purpose of this short video to teach the whole skill of how to take a blood culture. It is to focus on how to prevent contamination. First of all, we prepare the tray. Prepare your equipment and utilize the packaging to maintain sterility of the equipment. Pick up your blood culture, remove the top, use the chlorhexidine alcohol swab, clean the bottle top for 15 seconds, and once you've finished cleaning the bottle top, allow it to dry and repeat the process for the next one. We need to clean the skin for 30 seconds. To achieve this, we use the chlorhexidine and alcohol impregnated sponge. To activate the sponge, we grip the wings together. That breaks an ampule and soaks the sponge with the alcohol and chlorhexidine solution. And then we clean the skin for 30 seconds in multiple directions. Once 30 seconds is complete, we leave the solution to dry. We need to attach the adapter to the butterfly without contamination. Fill the blood culture bottle with 5 to 10 mils of blood. Do not remove the barcode label or obscure the barcode with an addresser graph label. Prepare your equipment and utilise the packaging to maintain sterility. Prior to cannulation, clean the skin with the chlorhexidine and alcohol impregnated sponge for 30 seconds in multiple directions and allow it to dry. Attach the butterfly and the adapter together. Remove the butterfly to leave the adapter in place. Do not contaminate the adapter. Once you have cannulated your patient, secure the cannula and attach the extension. Do not contaminate the needle-free device or the adapter. Join the adapter and the needle-free device together and obtain your blood culture with 5 to 10 mils of blood using the blue blood culture bottle first. Once you have obtained your blood culture, flush with normal saline and clamp under positive pressure. Thank you for your interest in reducing blood culture contamination. If you need any further advice, please contact the Vascular Access team.